What's up, Goaded Ones? It's the Goaded VC here, tearing you down to build you up. We're back with another teardown, this time with Napper. Napper is an on-demand marketplace for places to sleep during the day, and they have coverage all over the United States. I just met this startup at the Product Hunt meetup yesterday, which was awesome. I got to meet uh, Typogram as well, so shout out to the Product Hunt meetup. And I definitely checked this startup out, and it's something I definitely need. Um, but let's go over their website and see what they got. So this is the hero. Let's see. Let me fix this a little bit. How am I looking? All right, there we go. Okay. Napper.io. Relax on your schedule and be the best healthy you. There's a lady in bed stretching. She's happy. Uh, be the best healthy you. Where to? So relax on your schedule does not say what this is. All right. So I have some prior knowledge of what the startup is. So that changes my perspective of it. Um, but this doesn't say on demand nap marketplace. And this is such a generic stock photo. It just feels, I don't know, it feels fake and phony. Um, this happens a lot. I feel like this founder has like obviously worked really hard on the back end because that's the actual hard part of putting all this together, uh, like getting hotels to agree to this and booking and scheduling all that stuff. Um, but like basic stuff on this page doesn't say in the hero what they actually do. Relax on your schedule. Is it like a, it could be like a yoga retreat. It could be a quiet area. It could be, I don't know. Relax means so many different things to different people and be the best healthy you. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, so it did ask for location. Um, I'm usually okay with that, but if I'm just judging this off the hero, I like, I just came to this page. I didn't have any knowledge. Um, I wouldn't know what this is. So where to, let's say Brooklyn, New York, I'd probably do this and wow. Okay. Hotels. Now I'm seeing what, what it might be about. So I can go to King hotel from 7am to 2pm, which is very, like, it's something that people, I saw Noah Kagan. If we're going to go. Uh, I don't know if my Instagram is going to work. Uh, I saw Noah Kagan post something a couple days ago. Where is it? He posted something about, yes, right here. Oh, screw that. Um, he says, all I want in life is a hotel that I can check in at 10 a.m. and check out at 2 p.m. And this is exactly what Napper does. Um, so you can see they have 38 hotels, which for like a startup to have all these, I guess it seems like this is something that hotels do, but it's just not a well-known feature of hotels um, that a lot. Of, I mean, this is Courtyard by Marriott that they do this from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, Cause they understand that some people are not able to get a place to nap for like an hour or two. Um, so I wonder how much it costs. So if I want to do Hampton in Times Square, there's so many times I've wanted to do that. Oh, so you have this check in and check out time. Okay. There's like a day use rate, a specific check in, a specific checkout. What I would want is to be able to put in my times. Like maybe this is only 7 a.m. to 2. Maybe I want, you know, 10 to 3. So I'll travel a little bit further to find the one that makes sense for me. But like today, actually, <laughs> I'm coming in from Jersey and I want to be able to put my stuff down somewhere during the day and then I'm leaving at like six o'clock. Um, so I actually could use this today. <laughs> That's how there's so many use cases. There's 
doctors and, and folks. Um, so let's just go through the first, the home page. Wouldn't it be great to take a refreshing nap whenever you wanted to in a comfortable bed nearby? Um, yes. This can be shortened. Uh, we think so. This is a lot of text. A whole lot of text. whole lot of text. Way too much text. Napping. I like the, the headlines here. I think what people need is the use cases. And the founder told me a bunch of like use cases I never thought of. So it's like, I know, well, I know doormen who work overnight and they have to drive back in the morning. And maybe there's a morning where they just want to, you know, they, they would sleep. They come home and going straight to sleep at like eight in the morning. So if they feel a little sleepy and don't want to go drive or don't want to sit in traffic um, because 8 a.m. is like crazy rough hour traffic in New York, it makes sense that they might want to just take a nap um, and not risk that. Um, people that work night shifts, people that work uh, hospitals, uh, who work long shifts. Um, yeah, I think what what's missing here is some of that like product use case um, information because I think even if you're not thinking about it, like you might not realize that you are someone that needs to sleep more. <laughs> I'm definitely one of those people. Um, I probably sleep like five, six hours a night and then I try to get an hour or two during the day sometime. And sometimes I'm in the city, I'm not able to do that. So, um, so if I'm judging on the hero, I gotta give this, I mean, once I, cause once I looked, then it explained everything. Um, but just on what's here, this is not giving me, I gotta give this like a 5.4 or something like that. Um, yeah. 5.4 on the actual start, right? Um, ugh. I'm so not prepared, guys. It's like people who are professional YouTubers. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I actually should make that a t-shirt. <laughs> professional YouTuber. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to make a brand in 15 minutes. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, uh, let's see, let's see. This page is way too text heavy. The information is in here, but this is like a programmer putting together a website, not like a marketing person. Um, you gotta show people, you gotta show some of the example places. Like what should be in the hero is some of the stuff you see on the page. So let's see what's close to me. Best Western Fort Lee, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Just like three or four examples, just like scrolling across the screen. That's what I want to see. Um, FAQ. There's no FAQ on the homepage. Thank God. Okay. That would be a violation, but they don't have a violation there. Um, because of my ability to see... I mean, I think the design needs a little work um, because I want these these times need to pop because the time is actually the, the most important part. And I think when you say when, when is like you need to know what part of the day as well um, because some of these don't cover the times you that I might want. Um, so pre-sign-up onboarding actually is okay because of that. Um, and then we could check out the app at, at a different point. But if I'm doing pre-sign-up onboarding, I'd probably give it a 7.2 just because I was able to understand the app and what it's for. And be the fact that there's inventory near me like really matters. Um, I think they could probably use an API like IP info, which we reviewed a while ago. 
to get general location data for this person, like you don't need the like the browser uh, location. You can just get it from IP info immediately and then hit your own API, find three places to take a nap right now and just show that to them. It's like, boom, have a, take a nap at, you could take a nap right now until X time and pay this much. Like you don't even need to explain what you guys do. <laughs> you could just like pop that up and just have like a tagline. It's like find a place to nap immediately. You know, so I think this page, this is obviously like an early, early version of the page. So it will get better. Um, team Jared Lerner. That's who I met. Yep. 16 years software engineering. What do I say? He's an engineer building the site. Um, Daniel Corona. So if it's the marketing is Daniel Swart. Um, he's a super host and a, a bastard elite member for Marriott. So yeah, there's a, there's a good story there of like, we really care about this stuff. Um, Aaron's from wall street. That's all I need to read cliff. I don't know about cliff mentor. What has cliff done? International auto showcase. Cool. International car shows. Okay. This doesn't really do anything for me. Um, uh, oh, personal battle with sleep over the years, which often led to thought tired days. This is this is stuff that's actually really powerful um, to tell your story of like why you came up with this startup. I don't think most founders like think of that as important, but like when I hear it, it's like oh. Like this person cares about the issue that I care about and they have a personal reason why they care about it. So even if this startup sucks, I'm still going to keep trying and give it more leeway, if that makes sense. Um, so I think talking about your like sleep journey matters. I mean, I just I've been trying to to fix my sleep. I bought a Ura ring. I bought a whole bunch of stuff to try to fix my sleep patterns and all that. So this is something that's like top of mind for me. And there's probably opportunity for this company to draft off of the work and the community building that's happened from other analogous startups that don't necessarily, they're not necessarily competitors, but like a Ura ring, actually like all of their customers are people that would be customers for this, or at least some subset of them are going to be customers of this or realize that this is necessary in their life because they've already made a decision that they're going to handle this problem. So, um, yeah, so that's it for today. You see, I did get a haircut. See, I feel like a different human being. Okay. Um, thank you guys for checking in. Uh, we are going to do a video that is going to launch tomorrow. It's called how to build a brand in 15 minutes. I'm going to go from zero to online store on a, on my own domain. If you want to see that, you can subscribe to the channel goaded ones on YouTube and hopefully, you know, you can launch some of your own brands. This is what I do uh, for clients all the time. Obviously we spend more than 15 minutes to build a great brand, uh, but you can build your own brand for your startup for, um, you know, for yourself, if you have one t-shirt design that you've always wanted to do, here's a way to do it for free, uh, well, close to free, um, try to do it for under 10 bucks and yeah, I want to hopefully, uh, inspire some of you to create some of your own stuff. So as always brush your teeth, walk in the corner, Denbo out. <laughs> Thank you.